Hi, this is Larry Andrew Yunus from Honeywell, and you're watching Control Talk Now with Ken Smyers and Eric Stromquist. Welcome to Control Talk Now. This is your host, Eric Stromquist. Control Talk Now for the week ending November 3rd, 2013. I have it on good authority. My co-host, the man, the myth, the legend, is back from trick-or-treating and is ready to give you all the control news you can use this week. Hey, Kenny, welcome to the show. Thank you, Eric. How you doing? That's a great introduction there. I see we got the Indy 500 Mormon 1911 going, that's great. Yeah, actually, 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 I got this shirt up at the Roger Rebenack Experience uh, in Indy. I went to one of Ro Roger's Indy events, and we, you know, we've talked about it on the show before, Kenny. What an experience! So, uh, this is my shout out, my tribute to Roger Rebenack from Honeywell and the Roger Rebenack Experience. And all I'll say about that is, if you're interested in just the time of your life, sell some Honeywell security, get hold of your local Honeywell distributor. And tell me you want to go on the Roger Re Rebenack experience. You've been on one of those, haven't you? Yes, I went up to the, um, it was the uh, 400, it was the Pocono 400 Indy race, and uh, it was last summer, and it, it was, uh, it was it's just like you say, it's, it's an, it was one of the most exciting experiences I ever did. It, we got to ride, uh, you know, joint in the back of one of those Indy cars, and, and you, you just don't know how fast things can go until you get in one of those cars. And then the movie came out, uh, that Rush movie, or whatever it was called, uh, so having that precedent experience and then seeing that movie, I mean, I, it was just it brought it all right back. But uh, those guys are super talented. I mean, the speeds, uh, you know, any mistake is fatal. You know, and, and when you really realize how on the edge these guys are, it, it makes the whole, the whole uh, experience just more lifelike. And, and uh, you're, you're right. Any chance you get to get uh, you know, linked up into the Honeywell experience, uh, make them, you know, take the extended measures to do it because it's worth it. Well, yeah, definitely. And, and so you like the movie. I haven't seen that movie yet. I've thought about uh, checking it out. So uh, well, you can do our Cisco and Ebert. I mean, you're going to give it two thumbs up or what, what, what rating does that movie get? Uh, yep. I, I would give it a five stars or whatever the highest rating is because, it, again, it's a true story. It's about Nicky Lauda who uh, had a, an intense rivalry with an English driver, and they just were they, – neither one would give it. They had two different styles. One was the pragmatic, no mistakes, did all his homework, never went out, never drank. The other guy was the wildest guy in the market. You know, he, uh, he was a womanizer, but he was very intelligent and, and just a daredevil. He was fearless. And so it shows them uh, taking, the, you know, the life to the edge. And uh, just a great, great presentation of uh, human effort and human drama. Well, I'm looking forward to seeing that, Kenny. So, hey, listen, a special thanks to that great introduction from Larry Andranis from uh, Honeywell. We got more on Larry later uh, in the show. But uh, thanks for that great introduction. And, Kenny, who is our sponsor this week? All right, uh, Eric, uh, this week's sponsor is DG Logics, DG in a box. Uh, this is the internet, visualizing the internet of things. Uh, this is a really great product, and, uh, you know, it's just catching on. Uh, I got these from you, uh, from one of our customers, and, uh, you know, it's just, it's very simple. It's the type of thing you just, you know, plug and play, you connect and power to the, you know, the DG box. You configure the DG box network settings, configure the data acquisition, and boom, you're watching, you're visualizing your project now. So great product. Take a look at it. And the price points are very good. So, I mean, this is, it used to be a prohibitive, some of the costs. Now this stuff is very affordable and very, very easy to use. Well, it's from our uh, friends Eugene Mazzo and his team at uh, DG. These guys are very, very creative. And uh, I think the other thing, Kenny, that product is actually up for an award this year, 2013 Control Trends Awards, I believe. Yes, it is. Yes, uh, there's several uh, DG Logic uh, nominations. Well, cool. Cool. So great, great stuff with that. And so we, we appreciate those guys. They are platinum sponsors of the 2013 Control Trends Awards. And, and speaking of sponsors, uh, a special thanks to all of our sponsors, uh, as we'll talk about later in the show. Kenny and I were up in New York City uh, last week getting ready for the 2013 Control Trends Awards. And that's really possible because of uh, our, our sponsors. So uh, thanks to DG, Honeywell, Bolimo, Johnson Controls and all our platinum sponsors and and we and Watchstopper is is a sponsor as well. They've come on. George Thomas Contemporary Controls came on this week as a gold sponsor. So again, thanks. Controlco. Controlco Data Eye is a platinum. Brian Turner, our first distributor, uh, platinum sponsor. So uh, thanks to all of our sponsors. Uh, we are going to make sure this is an event. 
to remember. And I guess talking about that, Kenny, is, is it a good time to segue into uh, our journey to New York last week? Oh, well, we could talk about that for a long time, too. But uh, we got a long, long show today, so we'll have to cut that short. But what an experience that was. Uh, you know, we kind of scouted out the uh, BB Kings. Uh, you know, we got some logistics so we can make recommendations to people. So stay tuned. Uh, it, it, New York is a, just an incredible city, and, and it's very difficult uh, to get around sometimes and, unless you know where you want to go. Uh, but catching cabs and buses, uh, the AHR show is going to have uh, buses going back and forth at regular intervals, and, and you need to catch the bus at the interval uh, that's most conducive to getting to the show on time. It starts at 10.30. The BB King facility is just out of the world. I mean, it's, uh, you know, it has so much history, so much musical history. Uh, the celebrities coming by back and forth. The, the day we were there, we got uh, to see the announcement for the light heavyweight championship. Yeah, Bernard Hopkins. Two guys. Yeah. Yeah, two two boxers bantering live on the stage about who's going to kick whose butt, and what, was that exciting? And then, well, then there it was, was spe- especially when you and I and Mark Peacock went up and asked him to get off of the stage. That that was our stage where we're having the awards, you know. So, uh. <laughs> well, the, the stage was being set for BB King that night. He was coming in doing a live performance that night. So there was all this uh, electricity because obviously he's a, uh, you know, he, he's he's a Hall of Famer in his own right, and uh, you know, but the the place just reeks of, of talent. And and uh, and you know of, of star star quality people everywhere you know. Well, so I, I really think neat. I'm just so excited about it. And of course, Mark Peacock, our master of ceremonies for the 2012 and the 2013 Control Trends Awards, uh, met us in New York to check it out. Mark is uh, planning some really really special things uh, for the event. So, uh, Kenny, I think you know Dallas was a good starting point, but this is this is going to be out of the world. So. Uh, uh, just so excited about that. New York is an exciting city, and, and dare I tell the story about uh, what happened to us at the Hudson Bar, or do, do we keep that on the down low? Eric, where are we this week? Okay, so Kenny, the man, the myth, and the legend, and I are doing some market research for the 2013 Control Trends Awards. We are at the Hudson Hotel in Manhattan, and as you can see, New York's the place to be. Be sure to show up for the 2013 Control Trends Awards. That 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 doesn't belong on the show. That's all right, a, that's... all right, all right. So hey, if you uh, if you guys are ever interested, you get the man, the myth, the legend, Ken Smyers or, or me uh, off air. Uh, ask ask about uh, the Hudson Bar in New York. That was that that was just an unbelievable hotel we stayed at. I'll just talk a little bit about the hotel because I think I can talk about that. But uh, it was it is like a really really I guess it's the hip place, right? So you go in, it's a you know beautiful lobby. Everything's dark. Everything's got the cool lights three or four bars in there uh and i mean there are more models and movie stars walking in and out of that place than than anything i've ever seen and of course but when you go to the room i will say the rooms were clean the bed was comfortable but dude i tell you what you had to stand in the hallway to take a shower the rooms were so small and so dark i mean to our friends at Wattstopper, the hudson hotel is one place you're not going to be able to put uh lighting control because they don't turn any on there, man. It's really, really dark. But that uh, that first night we were there, Kenny, they were having a big uh, runway model event. And uh, so we couldn't get into any of the bars until later on that night uh, at the Hudson. But the Hudson's a really cool place. Uh, lots of great. And it's close to uh, the BB King. It's not too far from Times Square, right there at Central Park. So that's a really awesome, awesome hotel. There are you know, tons of them up there. We did work uh, something out with uh, a guy by the name uh, um uh, Dimitri, Dimitri Brown, he has a limo service up there. We'll be posting stuff for, from him later on, um, you know, as, as we get closer to the awards. But uh, Dimitri's going to work out a special deal for uh, Control Trends people. So you can uh, contact him to book either your uh, passage from the airport to your hotel or on the day of the show, he'll have limos lined up that you can book and uh, he'll work a special rate for you that'll take you from the Javits Center to the 2013 Control Trends Award. So we'll, we'll, why don't we just post his link uh, in the show notes, Kenny, and we actually got a little video of D later. But, uh, I mean, you talk about riding around like a movie star. This guy has just fantastic uh, uh, vehicles, very clean, very personable guy, you know, a longtime New Yorker. So, uh, so that's going to be cool. Uh, I'm so pumped up about this thing, Kenny. I just I, I can't see straight. This is going to be a lot of fun. Right, it's an industry, uh, you know, favorite now, and people are very interested. Uh, please see the uh, post on Control Trends. The uh, there was the New York, New York update, 2013, and then the actual Control Talk now announcing the 2013 Control Trend Awards. The finalists, uh, again, every one of them is a champion in their own rights, a champion in their fields. Uh, the manufacturers are amazing. 
the solution providers are amazing, the software companies are amazing, and, and, the, and then the periphery devices are amazing. I mean, it's just intense competition, and uh, it's time to energize your communities. It's, it's, you know, please spend some time on the site, learn a little bit about it, and promote your own interests to the furthest extent possible. Well, yeah, Kenny, and I, and I tell you what, it was, uh, it was a real surprise. And I think, you know, so two things to Kenny's point. Uh, there's one post called New York, New York, where we actually uh, shot some footage, edited some footage, uh, so you could sort of get a feel for the energy of New York. We, we got some footage of B.B. King. Uh, Control Trends already has a fan. If you've seen the video, you know we got Big Ned is a big fan. He especially likes uh, uh, one of our 2013 uh, PDI nominee Sarah Montaloni. So Sarah, you know, Big Ned sends his regards. And uh, but so cool, Kenny. Why don't we just take a minute? I mean, were there any surprises? I mean, the second post I would say is we we did a sort of a unique presentation driving around New York, uh, announcing the nominees for the different categories. And and were there any people that surprised you uh, this year in terms of well, nominees? Yeah, I mean, uh, not not really. I mean, what happened is, is the uh, it's getting disseminated further into the industry, and we had more participation. So we had. Uh, Dish Tech is on board now. Uh, we've got uh, Automate Logic came in, but they, they didn't get enough uh, support. Uh, a, B, and B still out there, mysterious to us. Uh, everybody loves A, B, and B, and they were very strong uh, in the VFD world, along with Tico Westinghouse and, and Dan Foss and, and Honeywell and Johnson. Uh, we had uh, well KMC uh, just just I mean they showed up and they showed up in almost every category. Uh, very strong. Ben Dorsey and the guys uh, they do a great job, and everybody knew them, so they're on board uh, this sh this year at the Control Trends Awards. Uh, Johnson Controls made a very strong showing, and, and uh, so did Honeywell, uh, Schneider, uh, Belimo. Again, Belimo is a very strong player, and uh, so you know a lot of the people that uh, really have a strong network and have great products, great solutions, and they really energized it. So they, the most important thing is that uh, you know it, the information is going out. There are no losers. Everybody comes on board this and, and experiences some marketing collateral, and, and it's a good thing. So. Uh, why don't you tell us a little bit about the periphery uh, persons uh, and, and Well, I, I thought that was a new category, uh, that, you know, the, the, the small manufacturer peripheral, and we got some really great players there uh, that, that got nominated. Functional devices being one, I think anybody that's in the HVAC controls industry uh, knows functional devices for the relay in a box, so it was really good to see them uh, get nominated with this category. Uh, of course, Sarah and Connect Air, they do just a fantastic job. Uh, so they're, they're one of the nominees there. Uh, our friends, of course, ACI, uh, Barry Gordon, Chad Swin, uh, consummate, you know, quality, you know, smaller, smaller manufacturer of peripheral devices. Uh, I don't have the list in front of me, Kenny, but, but, but. Well, various Industries oh, also Varys, right, came on board. Of course. You know, Varys is a very strong player on all the uh, transmitters, uh, CO2, uh, you know. Uh, Dwyer showed up uh, there for a while. Maymac, uh, you know, Maymac Systems came on board. Uh, Maymac, that they, is they, great. Assem, welcome to the 2013 Control Trends Awards. That that would be great. You know, you talk about a guy who has been in this industry for a long time and done some very very creative things. And uh, Maymac has been just a powerhouse for years. So I'm really glad to see the community recognized uh, Maymac. So hopefully they'll get involved this year. Well, they, they made it to the nomination for thermostat of the year uh, along with Viconics, uh, In Touch. Uh, Echo B, Nest, and Honeywell. So uh, Maymax in the running on that. Uh, again, you got to get you got to get your uh, community behind you because it's it's a voting process. If you don't get any votes, you can't you can't compete. So no, absolutely. Uh, well, and speaking of that, Kenny. So a couple of things. Uh, you know, Ben Dorsey has been listening to us. So uh, so Ben sort of dialed in on the next steps. But we do not because a lot of these people that got nominated, Kenny and I, don't represent their products or don't don't sell their products. And ABB is a great example. So if there's anybody in our community. Uh, that's affiliated with ABB, that works with ABB, please reach out to them. Let them know that they're nominated for the best variable frequency drive of the year. Have them get hold of me and Kenny because we definitely want to get them on the show because part of what we've discovered from last year, Kenny, is is you got to get your network energized uh, and, and voting and participating. But, but where you're really going to win these awards is people that, uh, that are not in your network. That, uh, that that maybe a contractor or an end user or a building owner that maybe doesn't know a lot about your product, but you know you come on Control Trends and maybe he you know sees a guy like B Lars Vanderhagen from Belimo and he says I like this guy he resonates with him because you know you get the personalities uh, involved, which is you know one of the things Kenny we've been trying to do is we've really been trying to. Uh, uh, you know, bring the personalities that we think the people in our industry are the best people in the world. We've talked about it before. Uh, we think they're rock stars. So, you know, part of the mission to Control Trends and the Control Trends Awards is to make sure the rest of the world knows just how incredible the people in our industry are. So, so really getting energized. So, so there, there are things at your disposal. You can come on Control Talk now as a guest. 
uh, which is a great way for people to find out about your, you or your product. Uh, you can send us collateral that you want, want us to post uh, if you're a finalist in the 2013 Control Trends Award. So, for example, if ABB has a video on their product they'd like us to post or a blog they'd like us to post or if they'd like to have a product manager come on and talk about the product, all that's available. But we don't know who you are and where you are, so you sort of have to reach out to us. That goes, I think, ditto for Distech. Don't know a lot of people at Distech. They got nominated uh, for, in several categories. Allerton got nominated. So uh, please review that, uh, that post of the nominations. And, and if you see somebody that's there that uh, uh, is, is somebody you handle or maybe have in your building or you sell, please make sure they're aware uh, of their nominations so that we can really get, uh, get, the, get their information out so that the control transit community, when it comes time to vote, can make an informed decision. Hi, right, Eric. Uh, we uh, will kick things off now with our first uh, first couple posts. Uh, we're tied into uh, cybersecurity. We had um, BAS cyber risks. It's not just about the numbers. It's a business case. This is a real interesting uh, presentation because it comes from the angle of uh, we invest in insurance policies. We invest in uh, lawyers and legal fees. And, and then when you try to sell something as, as important as IT security, everybody says, uh, we don't need it. Uh, what, what's the worst case scenario? What can happen? Well, a uh, great business case on uh, that you need to have IT security and you need to budget for it. And you need to have some, somebody specifically ass assigned to it and responsible for it. And that was followed up by Contemporary Controls. Uh, these guys are still on the move. Uh, they got Sedona certification. Uh, they've got a great security product too. And uh, they just recently had a BAS remote update with the new trending and password uh, features. So visit those posts. Yeah, absolutely. Then, and of course, you know, George Thomas, we've talked about him before, Kenny from uh, Contemporary Controls, uh, you know, one of our favorite people, super, super smart guys. So, and as we mentioned before, uh, they're on board at the Control Trends Awards as a gold sponsor. So George will be there. If you haven't had a chance to meet this guy, you definitely want to reach out. I don't know whether they'll have a booth at Ashray or not, but if they do, you want to stop by the booth and you definitely want to come meet George at the show. All right, Eric, uh, it's time for the Momentum on Tour update. Momentum on the road. You know, we've been covering it for, uh, you know, Honeywell as uh, is, is sort of a, a separate coverage for those guys. So uh, uh, I've been talking to different distributors as the Honeywell Momentum Tour has come through their locations and uh, it came to Atlanta. And I got to tell you, Kenny, it was uh, it was fantastic. It's a, it's a very intimate setting. Uh, you get to meet the product managers uh, and, and talk to them. You get to talk to the technical people. Uh, and that's this little new actuator they have, Kenny, is is a new product they're, they're, they've introduced. It's it's a little actuator that you can pop on the top of a ball valve, a Honeywell ball valve. It'll go up to an inch and a quarter, uh, really reduces the downtime. And uh, in talking to Larry Andranus, who was at our, uh, our, our thing, I mean, it seems like, and, and I'll let Larry speak. This is what he had to say about, you know, Honeywell's philosophy about uh, – you know what they're trying to accomplish. I think what we're really trying to look for is, you know, you can always add technology in and say, hey, we got this great new technology widget. But what problem are you solving? So we're always trying to solve a problem. That problem may be, you know, running your building more efficiently, or that problem may be making it faster for a contractor to get off the job so, so it can be more cost effective. And again, making it more cost effective allows you to add that payback time and reduce that payback time. So. It's all about adding value and making it, you know, building products that truly add value in the marketplace. So, Kenny, the other thing that, uh, that Larry is, is just an awesome guy. If you think about, you know, from the Tom Rossback interview, you know, Tom is a real hands-on controls guy, really understands the technology. But Larry, uh, who is now the uh, international uh, sales and product leader for Honeywell, uh, you know, he comes from a contractor background, Kenny. This is a guy who grew up in the business, put his hands on it. I mean, he had actually been in the field. He's one of the probably the few guys in our industry at, at a marketing and sales level that can actually go out and, and program the spider. So this guy really understands uh, the business from the contractor's perspective, right? So uh, Larry had a little bit to say about uh, the Honeywell spider and what they're trying to do with that and the silk bus. 
Now we have the spider controller that's really designed to do more plant stuff by having easy, expandable I.O. that you can put on there. The nice thing about the I.O. is that you can either snap it on and have it as one big controller. You can move it around and, and fit the application a little better so the, the I.O. can move around with it. Um, we got the silk bus that allows you, you know, there's always that job where you got that one extra I.O. and I could I could have done it with this controller. Well, that silk bus allows you to add that one extra I.O. or two extra I.O.s now. Uh, to that controller. So I, we're pretty excited about what that brings us. It seems like, you know, Tom Rossback is really riding the ship. And I don't know if you've had a chance to spend much time around Larry, but uh, it, it's sort of nice to have hands on technical guys uh, that, that are at the top calling the shots. The momentum on tour is such a great concept because not only are you trying a new marketing, a marketing technique where you're bringing the mountain to the, to the masses, so to speak, but uh, you get that direct feedback from the customer. So Larry gets to hear firsthand, you know, it'd be just better, uh, it'd be a greater controller if we could just do this or if we didn't have to do this and the tool was easier or whatever, whatever. And there's no better way to collect information and then go back and address it, you know, at the corporate level with the product specialist and say, hey, you know what, we need this feature here as soon as possible. Or Brand X does it this way and we, we got to see that. And if we put that feature in, it would be very little, you know, to do that or whatever. So that information uh, processing is, is probably, uh, you know, it's worth its weight in gold. I, so I think, I think it's a valuable Kenny, and I think the thing that Larry brings to the table is he's a guy that can go to the board and say, they need this feature because of this, and this is this is the problem that is causing a contractor, and this is you know what you know why we've got to make a change. So, I think Honeywell has really got a good lineup now, and uh, you know, and they're making some real positive changes. So, uh, you know, uh, Larry's hitting a couple of the shows. Larry, one last thing: uh, what are what are what are some of the shows you're going to be at? My next stop, I'm going to be going to New York. Then I'm going to be going to Boston, um, so look for us. I, I, there's road shows going on all over. I can't make them all. I wish I could, but we'll have a huge presence at all the road shows. You know, we, we're really getting the the people from inside Honeywell out to the road shows so they can talk to you one personally. And it's not even just about the products we're showing. It's about giving us your feedback and what else you need so we can build that for you next. Cool. So John Donahue, you make sure you take take care of Larry up there, and I'm sure he'll be up there at our boys at Twinco. Dave Susky and uh, Ken and the guys up there. So, hey, thanks again to Honeywell for a great momentum uh, on tour in Atlanta. And Kenny, you got to come on to Pittsburgh. When do they, when do they come to the to Pittsburgh? November twentieth, Eric. So we'll be catching the uh, the latter part of the tour. But uh, hats off to Amy Anderson and the concept momentum on tour. All right, next up, uh, Eric, we have Transformative Waves Catalyst averaged fifty seven percent energy savings on existing packaged rooftop units. Now, this really caught my eye because when you talk about uh, you know, bragging rights, this is a retrofit solution that provides an average of 57% energy savings on existing rooftop units. And this was, this was uh, established and verified uh, by the Pacific Northwest National Laboratories, which authored a, a report on it, and that's available on uh, controltrends.org. Go to the transformative waves. But uh, what an incredible uh, solution that is. I mean, imagine if you invest in, and you get a 57% savings on, on immediately on, on your, you know, and there's several rooftop units. I mean, and, and the impact is, uh, it's dramatic and it's worth a look. And uh, it has the rest of the story, uh, URL link right to it, Ken, uh, Kent, Washington, October 8th, 2013. So it's very fresh and very important. So, so uh, Kenny, how are they doing it? Is, is it the unit itself that they're installing that, that has energy savings in it? Or are they controlling it a certain way? or? Well, it's, 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 an, it's an upgrade. Uh, the study ca covered a catalyst upgrades on 66 rooftop units across the nation in four climate zones in varying building types. And what they do is they, um, if the catalyst is North America's leading efficiency solution for constant volume HVAC systems, has a proven track record of reducing commercial and industrial commercials HVAC energy usage by 25 to 50 percent in a cost effective manner. It's manufactured and shipped as an easy to install pre wired kit that radically lowers the energy use and improves performance of the constant volume HVAC systems. So it's a it's a product and you put it in and what it does is it uh, it, 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 it verifies the performance. It uh, verifies uh, faults, alerts, remote set point adjustments and scheduling. Of course it's all web uh, accessible and um, you know, again it's uh, it, it seems to be the stuff that we're familiar yeah. with but again the, the, the game plan is to put it into a a simple, easy to install packaged product that you can sell, and these guys got it. So, well, I'd love to, if, we can get, if we can get them on this show, I'd love, and I think our community would probably love to hear more about that. So, if you guys happen to be listening and want to be on Control Talk now, please reach out to either me or Kenny. If you've used this product, please let us know in comments uh, what your experience has been. So, that, that's really, really interesting, Kenny. Sure is, Eric. All right, next up, we have um, 
the uh, real combat. Basically, it was from the uh, p information pivot points of week 43, uh, and it was um, Jim Young, Howard Berger, Daryl Smith, Brad Sill, all the uh, heavyweights are out there at Core Tech 2013, and uh, that's in uh, Washington. It's at the Microsoft campus, and again, it's going to generate a lot of good information. Uh, there's a lot of networking going on. I know some of the uh, the top uh, systems integrators in the country are there. Rick and, Warner's uh, out there, right? To the real estate community. Our boy Rick Warner's yeah. out there, isn't he? Yeah, Rick Warner from uh, O&M uh, Engineering. He's, a, he's and, like uh, the best of the best, isn't he? Well, you know, the, the Mastem Systems Integrator is taking shape, and it's a, it's a, a theme that we're, we're, we're following, and uh, we're helping see it develop, uh, and it's these major events that occur, because what happens is you have systems integrators now, and they're all very talented, and there's networks, there's the Niagara Network community, Johnson, Honeywell, Siemens, uh, American uh, Automatrix, uh, Automated Logic, all, all are very good at integrating. But uh, this thing, they want a nationwide uh, contractor type of thing. They want somebody that can integrate all the subsystems, not just the, the HVAC, the lighting. They want to go IT heavy and come down, you know, down channel to you know, a national portfolio where they got one point of contact and he organizes everything or she organizes everything. And the concepts are developing, and, and Rick uh, Werner is going to give us more information when he comes back. But it's basically the master systems integrator concept is taking shape and, and, and being represented by com companies that actually qualify for it. So it's a, it's a neat concept, and, and it's uh, something we're tracking. So uh, we'll have more information on that. Well, hey, you think we might be able to get Rick on the show to talk about his experience out there? Um, we actually have him scheduled. We, just, we do. Awesome. Well, great. We'll look yep. forward to that. Rick Warner from O&M Controls, right? O&M Engineering. O&M Engineering. Out, out of Maryland. Cool. Baltimore, Maryland. All right, next up, uh, we have a wake-up call. What's in a name soon? Your location, sensors, valves, and actuators. And this was a, an interesting uh, post we got uh, from a colleague of ours. Uh, she's a, a principal of... Uh, Runway Partners. Her name's Teresa Sullivan, and she sent. Uh, she reached out to Control Trends, and she knows that we we try to keep on track of a lot of uh, developing and you know emerging themes. So um, she introduced us to the um, the concept where you're going to have communication. The telecommunication industry is going to take a look at our industry and get involved. And uh, she's the uh, principal of Runway Partners, and uh, this is a concept where we have uh, an outrageously interesting. Uh, move by the global telecom community that's taking a serious peek into our industry and the way we presently view intelligent buildings and smart parts. This could be a real game changer. So what happens is you have all the sensors and actuators and assets in a building attached to the internet connecting building automation network that has a, a common way of communicating their name and location. So the global telecommunication industry is throwing its weight behind the effort under an umbrella trade organization called the TM Forum, which I'd never heard of. And now, you know, I looked at it, and it's, uh, they're the leaders in Open Geospatial Consortium for Location Service Standards. So you see another emerging standard coming in, and it's going to affect our industry. So just when we thought we were uh, at a pinnacle and, and just, you know, got certified on some, some challenging uh, softwares, and, and we could make uh, bells and whistles and, and graphics uh, beyond, uh, you know, anything we expected five years ago, We've got another player, another another standard being developed, and it's going to affect the way we do business. So, Wait, uh, yeah, has, I hope it doesn't put us out of business, huh? Oh, absolutely, but, uh, absolutely, it, Kenny. It's it, you know, one of my teachers used to say, uh, uh, "Nothing's obvious to the uninformed," but uh, all this stuff that we're seeing, I mean, you know, and I got to give you credit for this because you're really staying on top of this, and also thank you very much to Teresa for reaching out to us with this post, and and for anybody that listens uh, to Control Trends or watches it. Uh, please, if you have any 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 sort of breaking technologies or stories like this, we're interested, and we'll definitely talk about them on Control Talk now, and post them on Control Trends. But Kenny, I, I think the operative word here is there's no standing still. You know, <laughs> I mean, back, you know, back when we first got started, it was kind of cool. I mean, you could learn a product line, and for the next 15, 20 years, you could be an expert on it. And now it's you know, it's like every day you're having to learn something new, and every day there are different you know people coming around you, different competitors. So. Uh, Wow, I, yeah. So I, you know, the uh, the, the whole concept is, is that uh, nothing remains static. Uh, we're in a transitional state from day to day, week to week. Uh, corporations are upsizing, downsizing, uh, and and but w what's really important is that we represent a market that's very lucrative and attractive to people that are you know experts in information and the dissemination and the collection of information, the breathing, the inhaling, exhaling of information. Uh, ways to skin the cat, but the telecommunications industry thinks 
that's their domain too. Just like Cisco thought everything with routers and information, basically it needed to come through a Cisco, and they had a large portion of the market. But then competition, uh, you know, doesn't doesn't rest. It came right after them, and 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 it's a real dogfight now. So I just uh, again controllers uh, having the ability to say hi, I need help, uh, I'm out of gas, or you know, the refrigerator says I need charged, and it's all being done, you know, machine to machine. So that it it's much more efficient. It's much it's more practical. Uh, probably a little bit more expensive on the initial installation, but I guess in the operating costs and the scheme of things, it pays itself off. Well, in yeah, a short our, our, of time. you know our friend Mark Jewell from EEFG uh, dot com, the, the training guru, the energy expert, will tell you. I mean, and it's you know he'll tell you there's no other place you can take your money and get the type of return on investment you can from uh, improving the efficiency of your building, and so it's no surprise. I mean, when you talk about you know uh, systems that can document fifty percent you know, energy savings and, and returns on investments that are just through the roof. You can't get that kind of return in the stock market for sure. So uh, so it's not surprising, Kenny, that more and more people are looking for clever ways to uh, to capitalize on this, to provide solutions, uh, because it's almost, if you if you break it down, and again, if you check out Mark Jewell, it's kind of a no-brainer. I mean, when you, when you look at some of these scenarios, and the technology is so good now. And, you know, Kenny, to your point, I mean, you have to have good technology to even be in the conversation, but people are making them faster, smaller, and less expensive and, and better. And then you got different approaches, different ways to uh, skin the cat, so to speak. So we'll keep you posted on these things, but uh, I think the operative word for if you're in this industry, keep your eyes open because it's not going to get any easier. Got a commercial for us. Uh, as you guys know, we have started controlbid.com which is like eBay for controls. And so humor me and watch this commercial. Hi, this is Eric Stromquist from Control Talk Now and Stromquist and Company. If there's one thing that makes the man, the myth, the legend, Ken Myers and myself upset, it is walking in our warehouses and seeing surplus inventory that's been sitting around for years. But there's not really been a good option to get rid of that stuff. It just usually sits there and we just hope it'll go away. Or we hope a buyer will come in and, and buy, buy a piece. But it virtually never happens. That's why we created ControlBid.com. Think eBay, but just for controls. HVAC controls and building automation controls. You've got old inventory. You take a picture. You write a description. It can be new. It can be used or just surplus inventory. You upload it to ControlBid.com. Put an auction price on it, a minimum price, or a buy now price, and that's all you have to do. You just wait until your product sells. You don't pay anything until the product sells, and then it's just a small commission. Okay, so what do you need to do now? You just need to get busy. Go out to your warehouse, take pictures of that stuff, those inventory pieces that have been sitting around forever, upload them to controlbid.com now, and as a special incentive between now and December 15th. If you upload at least 100 items to controlbit.com, you'll be eligible to win a 42-inch TV. You can watch Control Talk now on it if you want to. There are several other prizes, too. Go to controlbit.com to get more details. Okay, that's it. Back to Control Talk now. Be sure to check out controlbit.com. Okay, Kenny, like I was saying, uh, one of the things we're trying to do is we're trying to incentivize people to put their inventory up because, I mean, we all have inventory that's laying around. It just takes a couple of minutes to, to get on uh, control bid and upload your inventory and, then, you know, take a picture, put it up. Uh, and once you do that, then only good things can happen from there. You don't have to touch it again. Hopefully the next time you think you'll hear is somebody's wanting to bid or buy that product you have uh, as an incentive to go ahead and do this. And, and I look at control big Kenny, kind of like balancing your checkbook. We all know we should do it, but it's like, it's always going to be the last thing we're going to do. But as an incentive between now and December 15th, uh, if you upload at least a hundred items uh, in the competition, whoever uploads the most after a hundred, uh, they don't have to be all uploaded at one time. You can do it between now and December 15th. We'll win a 42 inch TV set. We have a couple of prizes, other prizes as well, but please check out controlbid.com. Nice, nice. <laughs> we got to get busy and get some stuff on there too. Dang it! But uh, all right, on time, Eric. Okay, next up we have a product review: the Johnson Controls Variable Frequency Drive. Uh, we have more and more uh, posts coming from the Johnson Controls ABCS. I know you have a lot of a lot of hard work still to go with that. But um, this was on the 
variable frequency drive. <clears throat> Johnson uh, Controls was selling drives since 2005, uh, but they really stepped up their, their VFD uh, offering, and they've brought in the micro drive. And it's a great interview. Uh, that you that did, I was able Kenny. To... You did that interview. Well, that was awesome. Yeah. You did a great job. Still need more practice, Eric. i got to get that Stromquist way no, of doing no, no, things. No, but, no, you know. it, it was great. Well, I want to talk about what a great job you did on it, because you did a great job on the interview. Uh, Johnson Controls asked us to come out and, and, and help cover their 2013 business conference, which, Kenny, I thought was just fantastic. We've talked about it before, but uh, uh, if you have the opportunity to ever go to one of these Johnson conferences, it's, it, it's sort of a, uh, something you really need to do. There was so much good stuff out there, uh, the products being one of them. Johnson uh, actually hired a professional videographer to follow us around uh, while we got to interview some of these product managers. So I think you're right on it, Kenny, that, that Johnson VFD is up for uh, the 2013 Control Trends uh, Variable Frequency Drive of the Year. Uh, one of the big things that, that we've seen that ABB does really well is a, a bypass called a three-contactor a three contactor, uh, bypass type setup. So Pretty much all these drives are competitive till you get to the bypass uh, aspect of it. And, you know, if you look at uh, Kenny's interview, they have a really nice, elegant way of handling that bypass. So uh, really like the looks of this drive that Johnson has. So uh, be sure to check that out. And, Kenny, anything else you want to say about yeah, the VFD one... before we move on? Yeah, well, I just, uh, again, the VFD uh, scenario is, 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 a, is a very true, tried and tested return on investment, energy savings, no question about it, no doubt about it. These Johnson <clears throat> microdrives are also for like a, the 25 horsepower, uh, 32 amp uh, version down to a fractional horsepower. Uh, it shows the different frames going in there. So it's a very informative thing just about VFDs. I'm sure the competitors have their eyes on this thing too. But what Johnson says is they can do, if you use their drives in conjunction with their, their, their you know, the way they recommend doing it, you can additional seven to 10 to 12 percent savings. So I mean VFDs are less expensive now than motor starters. I mean, yeah. so you, there's really no reason why you don't use them everywhere all, all the time because it should be part of your portfolio. If you're going to do something with static pressure or a pump, you should definitely throw a VFD in there. And this just gives you more, uh, you know, more selections, better, better selections, and, and uh, can't go wrong. Check yeah, out that and, post. And the beauty of those too, Kenny, is that Johnson goes through um, their two-step distribution channel which we talk a lot about these guys our, our buddies in controls group north america so it's as simple as uh reaching out to your local johnson controls distributor uh, if you're not sure where to find one you can uh, check out cgnaconsoles.net and get a list of uh, our brethren in cgna that uh, virtually all of them handle the johnson drive so great product that drive competition this year is going to be really 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 uh, competitive because you know honeywell's got the great drive that won last year abb's there uh tico westinghouse snyder's got their uh their drive uh yaskawa is is, is square a, d yeah square, yaskawa and square d are both in so that's going to be a i think a very very contested uh interesting competition this year so good luck to all the nominees all right, Eric. Next up, uh, we got another Honeywell post, uh, and again, it ties into the, uh, the momentum on tour and Larry's uh, presentation. And, and we don't want to wear it out, but uh, Honeywell launched uh, several new products that uh, that is simplified with the Silk technology. And uh, if you're in the Honeywell uh, webs game, uh, this is a, some great additions. You got the Zeolite wall module. You've got uh, a new Spider Tool 6.0 that was released, and it has uh, uh, just some great features to it. You've got um, Spider controllers with relays. You've got the Silk I/O module. You've got the Striker CVAHU controller, and um, so they're really giving you some options there. And uh, once you put the network in, you can leverage that network until uh, you, you've got the entire building envelope taken care of. You've got the lights. You've got the CO2. You've got uh, you know VFDs. You've got uh, you know everything under control. One workstation. Great stuff. Well, I think you know Honeywell's not standing still, and you know again Larry being a product guy and Tom Rossback being a product guy. Uh, don't be surprised if they don't come out with something that'll just knock your socks off here in the near future uh, at, in the light commercial space. So, uh, good stuff there, and, and of course, all those products uh, you can see. Uh, talk to the people that develop them, developed them, and even have some input into future improvements uh, by going to one of the Honeywell Momentum on Tour road shows. I'd, I'd like to introduce our next guest, and uh, his name is James Walton from InTouch Controls, and James is the Vice President of Business Development, but 
but Kenny is so much more than that. James is uh, another one of these executives that's a hands-on guy that really understands things technically. Uh, in touch is nominated again this year for the 2013 Thermostat of the Year. We represent him. We are just we're thrilled with these guys. But uh, hey, let me just say, welcome to the show, James Walton from In Touch Controls. James, thanks for taking a few minutes to be with us. Thanks for having me here today. Okay, James, so tell our listeners what InTouch is all about. So InTouch is a company that was built for EMS systems to create a building automation solution for the light commercial market segment. And we focus on products from a cloud-connected wireless thermostat all the way to an in-building automation system, which includes lighting control, includes thermostats, energy monitoring, refrigerating monitoring, and all wireless, wirelessly links together to create a very cost-effective solution that's easy to install for retrofit applications. So one of our goals behind this solution when we developed it was really to make it easy for our HVAC partners to get into a customer, be able to sell it, be able to install it, and make a profit off of it as they go along and then create a long-term connectivity back to their customer by them becoming a solution provider and not just an HVAC contractor they call when a part breaks. James, why don't you tell us uh, how you uh, take InTouch and how the contractors uh, work with InTouch and what does InTouch do specifically and for the benefit of the contractor? Absolutely. Some of the features that we have are actually at the hardware level first. So a couple of those features would be test features to help you be able to troubleshoot and diagnose a problem in the field from relay test modes to phone apps um, that you can then control the unit while you're standing on a roof. Others really start getting into the branding of the portal. When a you can go online and you can create your own customer accounts, you can then remotely diagnose a problem that they may be having. So if you have the alert set up correctly, the alerts come to you first you can get online, figure out the problem before your customer may even know they have a problem, and then you can call them and say, listen, we really need to schedule a service call out to you, and here's why. And get them buying, you're now showing a proactiveness instead of just a reactiveness during those hot times. That is really, really cool, James. And, and so talk a bit, if you will, about uh, you know, contractors using your thermostat to brand themselves. So with the stat, and when you, you know, when you have the branded solution, what you're getting is a portal that has your company information on it, their logo, so it looks like your company. It looks like you're providing that solution to your customer. So every time the customer logs on, they see your company name, your logos. Um, they know it's you. Now, even at the stat level, that logo is being pushed down to the stat, so it's no longer saying in touch. It's saying your company. Once again, it looks like you're the provider, so you're now building customer awareness, right? That when they look at that, you're the first point of call. You're not the, did I find you in the phone book? Did I remember? Because how many times has someone changed over in a company, right? Or it's the manager on duty that day that may have the issue. This creates that awareness back and forth of who to call and when to call them. And plus, if you've set up those alerts that are good to you, you now know about it as well, so you can now help your customer. You have our InTouch Pro, which we'll focus on, being uh, kind of the, our latest product that we're putting out in the market, really designed for this space and really designed for the contractors in mind. It has a motion sensor built into it, which can be activated or deactivated. Really great for your uh, multi-tenant family style systems, hotels, condos, um, you know, it even works great in small office spaces that you have a high amount of traffic because then you don't even need to worry about a schedule. So now your customers aren't even have to think about what they're doing. They just set it up and run with it. You know, the cloud-based remote management solutions, right? So whether you have the full-blown EMS portal uh, with lighting control and energy monitoring or the InTouch Pro, it's all the same portal so a customer can mix and match as need be if they have multiple locations, but it really makes their life a, a lot easier. The product includes a full touchscreen, color, high def, multi-stage control, um, ability to 
change how that control works as well, and then a quick, easy wizard that walks you through that setup so you're in and out. Kenny, I tell you what, we, uh, we've, we've talked about InTouch, uh, James and, um, and, and Greg Fusulo, the, the CEO of uh, InTouch, a lot. We've worked a lot with these guys, Kenny. They are small. They're nimble. Uh, they're really concerned with quality-type products. Uh, you know, I've, I've given this example before, but they're, one of the great applications with these guys, Kenny, is uh, uh, the, the remote classrooms that a lot of the school boards have. Uh, we had a huge school board down in Florida. Uh, they needed uh, a, a different software revision uh, to work with their security system. InTouch got busy. They wrote a driver, got it out like within three weeks. Uh, I can't say enough about these guys. So if you haven't checked them out yet, please check them out. Again, Stromquist handles them. Uh, you can also get these things through probably any of our, our you know, co-members at CGNA. Uh, we all have sort of reciprocal agreements, so if you're working with a local distributor, uh, you can just call us at www.stromquest.com. You know, we can give them a resale discount where you can try the product, get it from your local distributor, and not be penalized price-wise. So, Kenny, again, thanks Walton on that, and, and I tell you, that thermostat competition is, is really heating up again. You know, we got Nest involved uh, again. Uh, who are some of the other nominees we have? Nest, InTouch, and... InTouch... Echobee, and uh, we've got the uh, the new one here uh, by Viconics, the uh, Viconics VT8000 series. This is a great product addition to an already great existing thermostat line. <clears throat> Again, with Viconics, you get uh, you get some very serious options uh, with the uh, a la carte style of ordering. You don't just get one thermostat and, and, and you get things you don't want don't want to pay for. Uh, it, when you bid on jobs and you got 20, 30, 40 thermostats, it's all about, you know, Having that quality, that, that high standard uh, thermostat that's acceptable, it's got an easy to use uh, interface, it's pretty, uh, and, but they've added some other things with um, the simplicity and sophistication. This thing here now, uh, and same with InTouch, they're not just thermostats, but they are. They're sold as thermostats and marketed as thermostats, but they actually are building controllers, energy management systems, self-contained, that InTouch thing can do so much more than a thermostat, but yet it's marketed as a thermostat because that's that's how it has to enter the market. Same thing occurs with the uh, Viconics. Their 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 new uh, VT8000 uh, series is, is is it's amazing because it has uh, energy savings occup occupancy strategies, simplified installation. You have a customizable interface that is remarkable. So you leave a message behind. So uh, you can put a contractor, you can put his information, you can change your color schemes. I saw this really cool thing where for church, and so imagine uh, you know, at night. The the, fate, the display dims down into an icon, the, a cross uh, of a certain color, so that when people want to see what the thermostats, they could just go to the, the you know, it's just what what an ingenuity. I mean, it's amazing what you can do here. Or of course, you could put the bread uh, butter stick, uh, you know, contractor call, uh, you know, uh, Charles ABC Heating and Cooling if you have a problem, or whatever. But um, so you're looking at um, an amazing competition between some of the most engineered products. They're, they're Again, we sell them as being simple thermostats, but they're not. They're incredibly sophisticated and, and competent, uh, you know, controllers. And if you, if you need to save money, you know, of course you got to have scheduling. Of course you have to do the setback. Of course you want to do this, that, and the other. But you got to, you know, to do that, you have to pick a product that can, uh, it's easy to do, that's sellable, that's serviceable, and networkable. Well, and I got to tell you, and Viconics is the defending champ. They won last year, so uh, so there's going to be. And they haven't stood still. Another company that hasn't stood still is is Honeywell. Our friend Mike Keller and Honeywell. I tell you what, I think they have uh, sort of recaptured the what I call the realm of the cool from uh, Nest. You know, Nest is, Nest. I think last year was the coolest thing ever, and you know, Honeywell with their different colors and their different options. Uh, it's going to be fascinating to see who's able to win this one. But, you know, we'll hopefully get Mike Keller on uh, to talk about the prestige uh, here in the next uh, couple of episodes of Control Talk now. But, uh, hey, uh, definitely check all these out. Uh, again, to Nest, uh, as, again, another company that we don't have a direct affiliation with. So if anybody from Nest is listening, we'd love to get somebody from your company on to talk about the Nest. If you have any videos you'd like us to post, so that our control trends community can make a well-informed decision. Please send them to us. Uh, that's true for everybody. Uh, Echo B, Stuart Lombard, uh, another great product. Those guys do a fantastic job as well. So uh, Stuart and Echo B were up for several awards last year, and they're up for the thermostat of the year again this year. So good luck to those guys as well. 
You're absolutely right. I, I forgot about uh, some of the. Uh, there's just so much to talk about, but Echoby has one of the most amazingly uh, friendly hosted websites for a contractor. In other words, we sell Echoby. Uh, we, we use the control group North American uh, ties that we have. Uh, but that thermostat, once you, once people use them, they, they love them. In other words, they sell. So they're getting their first couple sold, uh, you know, because they, they're not cheap, uh, but they're high quality, and they have they have uh, you know. They have uh, you know features to them that are remarkable. Like Honeywell has a you know the wireless goes right to the internet. It's a hosted website. Well, Echobe has one that takes uh, you know even additional measures so that you sell ten Echobe thermostats. You got them all over the city of Pittsburgh. Uh, you can come, wake up in the morning and, and you go to your site. You sign on at Echobe, and your site comes up with all your thermostats are posted on a glue, uh, you know with a GPS position type things on Google, right? And they have color codes on them. So you know this is a, everything's sweet this morning, no no alarms, no alerts. Or if there is a problem, it it, it talks to you. It lets you know you got an email. Uh, so it's just great, great uh, great engineering. Uh, Echobee does a great job. Uh, they're a Canadian company and uh, the Canadians produce some great products. A lot of our North American products come out of Canada and that thermostat's one of them. Well absolutely Kenny and we'd love to get Stuart Lombard on the show. Tony Fidel We've almost given up on, on you, buddy. We, we keep shouting out to you, asking if you want to be on the show, asking if you want to participate. I mean, I know you made the iPod, and that is really, really cool. And I know you work with Steve Jobs. But let us tell you something, man. Kenny and I, we've worked with the likes of Warner Buck, Dave Moline, Tom Rossback, Chris Eichmann. So, hey, we work with cool people, too. There's no reason we can't talk and be friends. You know, I know you don't sell through us. You go around us and all that. But, hey, we're not harboring any f ill feelings here. And if you do come on the show to talk about your product, we're going to be really, really nice to you. So, Tony Fidel, come on the show. Greg Fusolo is already from InTouch has already agreed he's going to be on the show. I think Mike Keller's coming on. Stuart Lombard, we'd love to see you. Uh, Somebody from Viconics, but again, this we do. We we, we have uh, Doug Gettick from oh, Doug, Viconics. Doug, is, uh, Doug's coming on. Great, great. Okay. Yeah. So Tony Stewart, you guys seem to be the lone wolves out there. I mean, come on. You know, in between all your Hollywood parties and all that kind of stuff, uh, you know, come on. I mean, come to Atlanta. Come to Pittsburgh. I mean, we're cool too. <laughs> <laughs> all right <laughs> what do you got next kenny what's up next <laughs> all right next up we uh, again it was a link spring uh post uh the link spring cyber pro protect your building and energy management systems this is a product release that came out of the uh pr newswire um uh lee summit montana october 29th uh link spring cyber pro is the industry's first cyber threat protection solution designed specifically to enhance the protection of commercial building uh, automation and energy management systems our friend Mark Petock, go to the site, Link Spring, look under products, go down to security, and I'll tell you what, it sells itself. Uh, we're going to start seeing that come out. So this this is a packaged product that's ready to sell. Uh, they're looking for distribution partners, and uh, it's a great product. I'm sure it's going to do well. Well, I got to take you. Know, we signed on with Link Spring uh, probably about three months ago, and what a great company. These are these are really good people to work with. A very innovative, great technical support. Of course, you know, Terry Swope plays the guitar. I mean, you've seen him on Control Talk now, who is incidentally up for the 2013 HVAC Executive of the Year. Uh, that's going to be a hotly contested um, uh, competition this year as well. So hopefully we'll get Terry on the show. But Mark's one of the all-time great people in our industry. So uh, so is is I mean, just doing a great job over at Link Spring. I mean, you talk about a guy who's just connected, understands social media, uh, would encourage you if you haven't already join Link Springs uh, group on LinkedIn. Uh, Mark is and, and the team there are posting a lot of good stuff there as well. So, cool, Kenny. What do we have up next? All right, next up we have uh, Honeywell's Jade Economizer and the new Economizer tools. Uh, man, that's another thing. It just gets better. Uh, you talk about uh, commercial products and uh, you know how to save money and how to take advantage of uh, the natural. Uh, you know, forces are out there. Well, cooling days come here in Western Pennsylvania, uh, you know, by the hundreds. So you could take advantage. Your first stage cooling could be an economizer. Well, the uh, Honeywell Jade economizer now they've taken it to the next level, where uh, you get the um, Honeywell's making their tools available. So all you go to the do is go to the Honeywell site. You can download uh, so much information, but you know, you can to sell stuff. You know, they have an economizer tool where you can show person uh, people and customers or potential customers. The payback, the return on investment. I mean, you, know, you put it in and you start winning as soon as soon as you get your economizer squared away. I mean, everything can go wrong there. The dampers get uh, you know disconnected with the linkage, and you know a lot of that's been replaced by direct coupled actuators. So the things that can go wrong are being minimalized. Uh, we know that uh, Belimo Zip Economizer 
it was an incredible product release too. And it's doing well because everybody uh, that, that's in the energy savings business has to use an economizer control. Many of them come in packaged to the equipment and you don't have have much of a play there, but if you don't, or if it's a retrofit, you've got some great choices, and Honeywell's Jade Economizer Control is, is certainly one of them, and like, again, you know, I could just uh, read this uh, post, or people go see it, but I'll tell you what, there's a new savings estimator, has a new look, and updated features that include the selectable entropy changeover curves, so you have the ABCD, or the Jade TM Economizer boundaries, so you've got some real good engineering uh, to make a very simple concept uh, work at its optimal level. So. Visit that site. Yeah, I tell you what, there's really not an excuse anymore for, for you know, not retrofitting an economizer. You know, Kenny, you know, in, in the past, the big, uh, the big knock on economizers was they didn't work, right? Or they were, they were hard to configure and set up. And between what uh, Gary Weber at Belimo and his team's doing with the Jade economizer and, and the team at Honeywell, I mean, what they're doing with the uh, Belimo zip economizer and what Honeywell's doing with the Jade economizer, I mean, those are just two fantastic choices. And again, those are available through your local distributor. So if, if you, your local distributor doesn't know about, about either of these, just find another distributor. But uh, uh, kind of seriously, all our uh, brethren in Controls Group North America all are very, very knowledgeable about this. I keep mentioning Controls Group North America County basically just because it's like-minded distributors that come together and work together. Uh, and, and we can unequivocally say if you go to a CGNA distributor, you're going to get great service and great knowledge. Not that you couldn't get that from other people, but I can't speak for all distributors, but I can speak for the group in controls group, the, the distributors in controls group North America. Okay, Kenny. So I think we're, we're, we're getting close to the end of this show here. So uh, a couple of things uh, real quick. Uh, again, thanks to Johnson controls for their hospitality, at the 2013 Johnson controls conference. We have t lots more videos that we'll be posting over the next couple of weeks, uh, trying to, to recapture that great conference. We really appreciate those guys. And, uh, you know, appreciation all the way around, right, Kenny? Sure do. Uh, you believe me, did a great job with their meeting. Honeywell did a great job with their Momentum on Tour. But um, we'd like to thank uh, the sponsors again. Uh, as we come closer to the show and as we get in, uh, more excitement is generated, uh, we couldn't do it without our sponsors, so we want to thank them again. EZIO, DG Locks, Johnson Controls, Honeywell, Belimo, Link Spring, Watch Stopper, Project Haystack, uh, thank you very much, In Touch Controls, Connect Dare, and uh, Control Co. And Data Eye. And, and, yeah, In Touch, Control Co, Data Eye, you're right. And, and Contemporary Controls, right? Did we miss them? Yeah, Contemporary Controls, uh, uh, and also, uh, you know, there's, there's, there's six more, Eric, that we'll, we'll be adding to the sponsor. Uh, again, it's coming in. It's a work in progress. Yeah. I apologize for not having it uh, done, but that's what Saturdays and Sundays are for. Hey, we can't wait to see you guys at the Control Trends Awards. Be sure to register to vote if you haven't voted. You were able to nominate without being registered, but you're going to have to register to vote to get a ballot. If you haven't registered yet, be sure to. You can do that on the Control Trends site. If you've already registered, not to worry. When it's time to vote, we'll send a voting ballot out to you. Uh, that's it. He's Ken Smyers, the man, the myth, the legend. I'm Eric Stromquist, hoping I can be one of those three. And we appreciate you checking us out on Control Talk Now. Indeed, Eric.